Trump is taking a very hard line on China. Yesterday, he threatened to slap tariffs on another $300 billion of Chinese exports to the United States if China's leader Xi Jinping doesn't meet him at the G20 in Japan. That's a pretty aggressive invitation. Mm. <laughs> it's like sending out an Evite that says, come to Rick's barbecue if you ever want to see your family again. <laughs> China, it's a fun barbecue. Don't eat the meat. I don't know what he's grilling. Smells pretty fishy. China has responded to Trump's tariffs with their own tariffs on a lot of U.S. agricultural products. Now, you would think that not buying our, our corn and our soybeans would be hard on our farmers. But Trump says, no. The best thing that ever happened to the farmers is me. The farmers are my best friend. Nobody has treated the farmers better than Donald Trump. I've treated the farmers so well with a jab jab here and a jab jab there. <laughs> here a jab, there a jab, everywhere a jab jab. I'm sorry, did I say farmers? I meant strippers. <laughs> then, here a jab, there a jab, everywhere a jab, jab. <laughs> then Trump defended his immigration deal with Mexico. Uh, here's what happens. On Friday, Friday? On Friday, he agreed not to impose tariffs because he said that Mexico had just agreed to work to prevent illegal immigration coming into the United States through Mexico. But over the weekend, we learned that Mexico agreed to take these border actions months before Trump announced the tariff deal. So Trump threatened them with tariffs unless they did the thing that they were already doing. <laughs> I gotta say, I think he would be a terrible hostage taker. <laughs> Give me the money in small unmarked bills or the old lady gets it. And I know you already gave me the money. I just love scaring old ladies. <laughs> Abu! There is. There's... Who's that? Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, here's the thing, though Trump insisted that there were more new, great things in the deal, tweeting, more importantly, some things, dot, 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 dot. Not mentioned, not mentioned in yesterday's press release, one in particular, were agreed upon that will be announced at the appropriate time. Of course, of course, you always keep the best parts of anything hidden. That's why I'm concealing my ripped abs with this suit right now. <laughs> I don't want to blind. Should I? Should I? Should I? No. 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 No, no, no. 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 They will. Ladies and gentlemen, they will be revealed at the appropriate time. <laughs> which is never. But yesterday, Mexico's foreign minister said that no secret immigration deal existed between his country and the United States. Trump just loves to make huge promises on behalf of Mexico without asking them. We're going to build a wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. Also, we have a secret deal with Mexico that's going to stop all illegal immigration. And on Cinco de Mayo, if you're a good girl or boy, Mexicans will come down your chimney and put tortillas under your pillow <laughs> in exchange for your baby teeth, oh. which they then put in the maracas. <laughs> No, no, no. The umpire is waving me off. Don't do it! <laughs> so today, Trump answered his doubters in a way that I think uh, deserves that we just take a moment. Every so often, you have to take a moment, like I'm asking you to do right now, to appreciate what a bizarre person is leading our country. Just take a moment before we do this. Cleanse your palate with the thought <laughs> of any other president doing anything like this. That's the agreement that everybody says I don't have. So, no, because I'm going to let Mexico do the announcement at the right time. From Mexico, they want to go through it, but here's the agreement. It's a very simple agreement. This is one page. This is one page of a very long and very good agreement. Look, look, 
if I don't have a secret agreement with Mexico, <laughs> then how do I have this people's paper right here? How do I have a piece of paper that I will not read to you, okay? Okay, and here, here's Middle East peace right here. It's so, it smells so fantastic, right this. Is that, yes, peace right there. There you go, all right. Okay, we got, we got the Mexico deal, we got Middle East peace, and hold on, the Colonel's secret recipe right here. Just seven herbs and spices. Then, Then Trump laid out a challenge to everyone who did not believe him. I just give you my word. We would prefer something of value. <laughs> but, um... Come on, trust. I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, do go on. Inside here, and I would what? love to do it, but you will freeze action it, you will stop it, you will analyze it. Every single letter you'll see. But in here is, my, is the agreement. Well, the Washington Post did freeze action it, and you can actually read what it says. Once again, Trump is foiled by his arch nemesis, sunlight and reading. <laughs> Here's what it says. Uh, they analyze, Washington Post analyzed it, and here's what it says. Mexico hereby promises to provide asylum to any U.S. president fleeing the FBI shall hide him <laughs> under the name Donaldo El Guapo Trumpistador and furnish him with unlimited chalupas. <laughs> wow. That's, that's what it says. That's it's what all it right says. there. It's all right there. Okay, that's not what it says. Actually, it says a bunch of stuff, kind of boilerplate, about Mexico having 45 days to address the flow of migrants, but there's nothing in there that's a secret thing that we haven't heard about before. And as the Post puts it, it's unlikely the letter has extensive guidelines for what the deal entails, given that there is only one-third of a sheet of paper above the one visible paragraph. Wrong. That's the secret one-third, okay? <laughs> It's got everything on there. The Mexico deal, my tax return, <laughs> the true color of my face. <laughs> it's Sherman Williams, 405, <laughs> beached squid. <laughs> now, for some reason... <laughs> for some reason, the press continued to play along with the agreement Trump definitely had. This will go into a, an, a this will go into effect, and it's my option. It's not Mexico's, but it will go into effect when Mexico tells me it's okay to release it. <laughs> so it's Trump's option that Mexico will tell him when it's okay for him to release it. What would you say about someone who phrases it like that? I think he's the weakest mentally. We have a great show for you tonight. Tim McGraw and John Meacham is here.